For those of you young men who are here, I can tell you the truth of being young. I was led there, the pretty young lady came, kissed two young men and forgot to cross a bull. The next thing to say is that from Saturday the 30th of November, the Ministry of Transport will be running three train rides. We train one person per hour from Lagos to Ipada. We don't charge for three months. We, you can join me on Saturday. We'll add us from Agene to Ipada. Or we start from the Jew to Ipada. Who's the record? Before the rights will increase the coaches. We're not going to be tired of seeing how it will work out. By April, we will start paying it. Good evening, everybody. It's an honor to be here to present this award to young journalists who have excelled. It warms my heart to no end to know that there's a new generation that is not only carrying out this important task of informing the public, but is also excelling at it. Before we get on with the task at hand, however, I'd like to seek your indulgence to pass a message from the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria the Nigeria Guild of Editors, the Nigeria Union of Journalists, the Guild of Corporate Online Publishers, and the Online Publishers Association. All of the listed are viewing with this me, the private members bill making its way in the Nigerian Senate, which seeks to guard citizens by taking away their rights to freedom of expression, as guaranteed in section 39 of the 1999 Constitution. Nigeria is already doing very badly in terms of its record on press freedom and is ranked a low 120 out of 180 countries in the World Press Freedom Index. In addition, we have been recognized as a country where criminals, governments and politicians use violence to silence critical views, particularly in the media. This is according to the Global Impunity Index. One of the critical pillars of a functioning democracy is a free press. And we know that the proposed social media bill will become another tool in the hands of security agencies for the muzzling of criticism, not just by citizens but also by journalists. As journalists, our job underpins democracy and is one of the vital components. This is, this is why it is a job that is protected by the Constitution. Section 22 lays it out clearly for a reason, which is that without a free press, there will be no democracy. We all believe that the proposed new social media bill presents a clear and present danger to journalists and also to the rights of citizens to freedom of expression and is against the Nigerian Constitution. We are therefore asking the National Assembly not to pass a bill which is contrary to our Constitution, the instrument that confers legitimacy on them. We all recognize the dangers of fake news and hate speech, but we have existing laws like the Cyber Crimes Act of 2015 and also laws on libel and defamation that are more than adequate to deal with these crimes when they arise. The industry is also happy to announce that we are working on self-regulation in line with global best practice. And before long, we'll be making a major announcement in this regard. To conclude, we want to be very clear. All of us working in the sector oppose this bill. And we are giving notice that we will fight it. to these important institutions alone. We can't do it alone. Every citizen's voice matters. And so I want us together to make a symbolic statement about where we stand on the matter of this bill. If you go on social media right now, right at this time, and you go to the Future Africa handles on Twitter and Instagram, you will see a graphic and a post about the bill 
We are going to put together your opposition to this bill. I repeat, your. Do not think that this bill cannot pass. I have been writing and telling stories and speaking with the most powerful voice in the country, with the most powerful people in the country for over two decades. Yep, I'm that old. And I know that the worst things happen when citizens don't fight for what belongs to them. Democracy doesn't protect itself. People, you and me, are the ones who protect democracy.